Ой. Those snails the monster kidnapped! Look, it's scary! So how do we save Gary without that monster snail seeing us? Gary is the monster snail! Huh? They grow up so fast, don't they? These massive amounts of candy bars must have given him a sugar rush. We can't take him back home like this. We have to cut off his candy supply first. Already on it, buddy!
gonna bring that whole museum down. We have to get him out of here before we're all buried in the rubble. But Gary is still giant! Don't worry. I'm sure he'll go back to normal once we get him home. I sure hope you're right, Patrick. I've never been wrong about anything yet. In my life, I think I might have been wrong. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I need your help. Anything for my favorite teacher. This jelly stuff ruined all the good noodle stars. I can't reward students without them. I uh, need you to get new ones. Don't you worry, Mrs. Puff. Your best noodle student will help you in these trying times. Thank you, SpongeBob. is covered in snail slime. I just had it cleaned when I moved in, too. I know it's a very challenging situation, but could you stop yammering? I'm trying to concentrate. Uh, that was sheer luck. <clears throat> uh, speaking of which, Good news! I found that squiddy neighbor of yours. Just to give me more jelly and your new cosmic costume will get you to him. Maybe I'll just stay here and nap under my rock. Oh, sorry, Patrick. Balloons and heavy rocks don't go well together. Besides, we have to save Squidward. Fine. But Squidward owes me a nap when we find him. Nah, I look like I'm from the Stone Age. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like some idiot who lives under a rock. Manaka! Spushiko! No plapla? Ungra!
Squidward, Banuga, Bullyfera.
Bunga.
Taylor Foo, SpongeBob! Taylor huh? Foo! Huh? Oak! Squawk trapped here with two morons? No! <laughs> On the jokey! Uh, Squidward, I don't know if you've noticed, but I want you to hear it from me first. You're still talking like a cave squid. Ham, Gaga. Hmm, looks like Squidward's vocabulary is stuck between the cosmic rifts. Madame Cassandra will help us get it back. My favorite sponge lackey has returned. With lots of jelly, I hope. Aye, aye, Cassandra. But can you use it to restore Squidward's vocabulary? It kind of got lost in all the cosmic chaos. This precious jelly is not to be wasted on the minor inconveniences of a bald sea critter. This is about the big, the really big, the biggest picture. My once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for world dominance. I mean saving. Saving the world. Mm-hmm. Well, if you can't help Squidward, I gotta find someone who can. Someone who has a way with words. Someone with a vast vocabulary. But who? Oh, how about Gary? That's a great idea! Gary's a well-read master of linguistic finesse, and he definitely has a book or two that'll help Squidward. Let's check out his library right away. Yeah, plus he knows how to say meow. Oh, boy. Well, when you finish that, here's a new cosmic costume for your next jelly run. Tis I, Sir Squirrelpants, ready to rescue another companion. Mm. SpongeBob, good that you're here. I need your help with a problem I'm having. Anything for you, Sandy. It looks like the heating for my tree dome broke when we came back. I have a little emergency machine for cases like this, but it needs some really hot objects in order to function. We'll keep our eyes open on our adventure and bring you back as many hot objects as we can find. You're the best. Thanks, SpongeBob. Don't you remember what happened last time, Patrick? The no food and drink sign is there for a reason. The food on the sign is what always makes me hungry. Do the trick. Look, the pumpkins are smiling. Oh yeah. What's so funny? Good notes. Well, that one was all. This book will help you find the right words again, Squidward. After all, it helped Gary to learn all those fancy expressions he uses. <sighs>
will get us out of a sticky situation. Ah. Je vous déteste tout. His coughing doesn't sound too good. Well, if you ask me, I always eat something very rough to sand down the cough. Ooh, we could try that. But first, let's try something more refreshing. Hmm, where can we find some delicious slurpable beverages? All our missing friends are still okay. It's up to us to bring them back. Sir SpongeBob of Bikini Bottom, here to rescue you with his loyal squire, Patrick. Square Patrick? I thought you were the square one. Unless, have I been SpongeBob all along? Stop it, your childish shenanigans! Oh, forget it. Listen, SpongeBob, I'm about to throw the most coral slumber party the sea has ever seen. There's going to be cake and a band and popular girls from all corners of the realm. And they're all coming to celebrate their love for me, the princess. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. This rescue mm. might take a little longer than I was expecting, Patrick. You should call me SpongeBob. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Bye. <gasps> What are you drawing? 
Looks more like a castle to me. Well, whatever it is, I'd sure like to live under it. to drop down there again. Save Pearl. No problem. We can fix it easy peasy. All you gotta do is find all the pieces, lick them, stick them back together. Cassandra won't even notice. Patrick, that's brilliant. Let's hope it works on magic bubble wands. I will. Just like when I broke, uh, fixed your TV and your bookshelf and Gary's food bowl. <laughs> <laughs> 